As we wrap up Heart Health Month, February, we have some tips now to keep your kids heart healthy, starting at a very young age, even age two. Jamie Park is a registered nurse navigator who works at the Heart Center at Intermountain Health's Primary Children's Hospital, and she's joining us now in this sponsored interview. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. This is something hopefully we're thinking about more as adults. Yes but it should start at what age for your children? We should be starting at a very young age. A child's palate develops uh, their, like, their favorite flavors before the age of two. And so if before a child is two years old, they're acclimated to super sugary drinks, lots of sweet treats and those types of things, that's gonna be what they gravitate towards. Jamie, wait a second, you said before the age of two. Before the age of two. So this is a baby. It is a baby and so we can at different points in our our life make small changes to redirect a course and to keep us on course with um, food choices that align with our plans for wellness. If you think about your body as a house, um, you can build a house out of plywood. It's going to have walls. It's going to have a roof. It's going to be a house. There's not really anything wrong with it, but it's not necessarily going to last. But if you build a house out of things that are like brick and stone and those types of things, it's going to last longer and so including our children in those choices as we make small gradual changes in our wellness goals they can take those things on into their life and go even further with it so at a young age you can talk about things like we choose red foods um, because those are good for our heart we choose purple foods because purple foods help with our brain development thinking about like strawberries and grapes and those kinds of things you're making it easy for the child to understand yes. why why you make those healthy choices. Yes, and we're making it um, very positive. We're not making these, oh, I was good today, and so I'm gonna have a, co a cookie. We're not making different foods good or bad. We're making choices that help build our body house. Jamie, I needed to hear this because I use the word naughty at my house. Yes. <laughs> and that's yeah. a negative. That's right. a negative when it comes to food. We want to, yeah, and we wanna talk about building our body house. We wanna talk about goals that align with where we want to go and with what we want to be able to do. And it is very simple. It doesn't have to be these broad sweeping changes or any one special healthy diet. It's incorporating more fruits and vegetables. It's minimizing the sweet, treat, sweet treats and the sugary drinks and those kinds of things. With your school age child, start involving them with what are the building blocks of nutrition? What do, how do I build my body house? What is a carbohydrate? What is a fat? What is a protein? And why do I need all of those things to have a healthy body house. Can I ask you this because I know it's a debate among parenting experts. Should you hide veggies and good for you foods in your kids meals or should you talk about them as you add I them to their both. meals? I think both, right? You know, I add into my meatballs, I add more carrots and zucchini and those kinds of things because I, as an adult, am trying to get more vegetables. And so I am incorporating those things. It helps my palate get used to those flavors so much more for a child where you want to help their palate get used to those flavors so it's what they want and it's what they crave. All right, let's look at a couple of these tips mm -hmm. on the screen. Also make physical activity just yes. part of your family's day. And it doesn't have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be, you know, an expensive yoga class. It can be um, a YouTube that you guys find that you like that you do in the living room. It can be a trampoline on a snow day. It can be a walk with your dog after dinner. You also say worry less about weight. Yes. And more about healthy lifestyles. Right, because we're thinking about um, that body house and the goals that we have to take through life. And if you shift and you focus on your goals, all the other stuff is going to fall into line. And finally, this one's interesting, sometimes taking a test necessary to keep your kids healthy. Working with your um, pediatrician, with your prim primary care provider is going to help you know at what point you might need to do some other things. More information, everyone, at primarychildrens.org. If you have questions, the answers are there. Info on your screen and on our website here at the station, abc4.com slash GTU. Our thanks to Intermountain Health for that sponsored interview. And Jamie, thank you for being here. Thank you. We